Today what I'm going to show you is how to put this folder into your files within Microsoft Teams. What is in this folder? It's all the students work that they've been working on in their assignments. So these are all their working files. And once they submit those files, it goes into submitted. So it's great for moderation and um, storing files. And it just shows you where all your students' assignments are saved uh, in the future, I guess. So when they're working on something, uh, the students within the assignments will have their, the, wow. the student will only see their own name here. And when they're working on something, they it will be within these folders. Once they submit it, and it goes from here, okay, so it's going to go from here. These are the topics that they've been working on. And it will go from their working files into their submitted files. And their submitted files are read only. They cannot edit these, all right? Also, students will only see their own folder here. You might use this because then students can just come straight here into working files and they can click on their own name and um, put work in there for you and it's all organized. It's really up to you how you want to use this. My only suggestion is please don't delete anything out of here. Students won't be able to, but for you, definitely don't delete anything. So these files are the back side, I guess, of the assignments. So if I click on assignments, and we go to view more in the past, you'll see that I was showing, uh, for example, Chris Bester and Drakey um, how to make an assignment here back in 2018. And you'll see that this folder with these assignments lives within files. And if I go here to student work and we go to submitted files, you'll see if I click on a student, all of those assignments that I've made are there, and there's that BS and Drakey folder um, sitting there. So this is how to get that folder into your Microsoft team. It's actually pretty easy, and you have to do it for each of your teams. What you need to do is click on these three dots, open SharePoint, because SharePoint is where all of our files are stored, remember? It's like our um, drive, that everything that in Teams is stored in there. And then what we need to do is we need to click on this little cog over here called settings and we need to go down to show site contents click on show site contents and you will see here that there is one called student work click on it and here are those files so what we need to do is come up here and take this url so at the top here it's called the url we need to take that Control c or copy it, you can right click on copy it, all right? So copy that, and now you need to come back to your team, all right? So now you're back within Teams, and you need to go add cloud storage. You can add a whole lot of different things. You can add Dropbox, you can add a Google Drive if you want to, but what we want to do is add a SharePoint. So I click on SharePoint, and what I want to do is use a SharePoint link. I'm going to paste the link in here so right click and go paste and i'm going to go go after i've done that i need to select this um year 12 biology and i need to go next then i need to come up and i need to go to student work and i need to go next and then i need to add this folder what it'll do is it will add that folder there into your Microsoft team and it's an easy way of looking at all the files or storing them for later use also for moderation hope that helps have a nice day